couple things just, you know, I think the issue with one of the big issues with the world right now is, and I was also thinking about this. I mean, I think a lot of people in the Orthodox Jewish world will say like, there aren't um, rabbinic, huge rabbinic leaders right now. And that's mm -hmm. like a big concept that like when a great rabbi dies, it's like they call that they would, they would say, refer to a rabbi as the Gadol Hador, as in like the greatest rabbi of that generation. And when a person dies, like who, who is left to be whatever. And there's like a real absence. Like I think one, one of the more recent passings is Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, um, who of less memory, who passed away in I think 2020 or 2021. And like, he was such a good representation of Judaism in terms of his eloquence, his just ability to be like a thinking person and be able to like on the world stage and like just defend Judaism in, a, in its way. But I think the world at whole is so lost and they don't know what to believe in. Mm -hmm. And that's why people grasp at causes, they grasp at social justice, social justice. But the problem is with that is that if your moral compass is so arbitrary and you see it, you see people saying, hey, women are important. Women should be believed, right? What about Israeli women that were you know, brutalized and raped and, and all that? Or what about, you know, uh, kids that are kidnapped currently or that they're, they're currently in, in as hostages? Like there is a level of um, moral ambiguity that that all of a sudden can, can shift. If you're like, okay, this is the thing, but only about, let's say, the oppressed, the oppressed, or or the versus the oppressor, instead of, I think Judaism very much grounds itself in humanity, humanity, like you know, and and the the hardest thing is when people try also. I mean, I also have a hard time when people so there. There's like really um, fringe groups of of Jews sometimes trying to use Judaism to say that Israel is in the wrong here when this is very much an act of self-defense, this war of self-defense that, but like, I literally will say, you know, somebody will say, this is not, I'm a rabbi and this is not what we do, what Judaism does. And I was like, pretty sure the founding rabbis of Maimonides and the people who wrote codes of Jewish law from previous, many centuries ago said that the most important, you know, commandments and are redeeming captives and saving people's lives. Those are the num no, most important two two mitzvot of all of all. Everything else takes a backseat. If if you know it's eating kosher, s s Sabbath, all that. Everything else, these are two most important things. So, and I think there's just like a, there's a, a a lack of people don't know where to turn, so they find causes to go to. But if there's a rot at the heads of these causes sometimes then it they don't know what to do and it's it's a really big big challenge that's why like i don't believe in people per se i believe in a higher power that made a, you know has a rule book essentially um and the one one thing i'll say about the um we said like you know cause and effect of like you know having to go through bad to see the good i think one of the best movies that helped me understand the concept of like that God doesn't exist in time or we don't is the movie interstellar a Christopher Nolan movie. I don't know if you've seen it, but like, to me, it was amazing. Cause it's like this, like out of time concept where, you know, um, like you said it, you know, 15, this massacre of 1200 people, but like, look what happened to the Jewish world together. Or just the fact that like Israel has really taken out a huge port portion of Hamas's infrastructure and hopefully that will save the next generation of Palestinians from being brainwashed into hating Jews and into like getting their money siphoned into terror tunnels from the UN and you know from people donating to Gaza and thinking it's going to school or something and whatever so like there is a uh quote unquote silver lining hopefully light at the end of the tunnel that we can't see that hopefully you know in due time there, you know, can't say this, this has happened because of this, but like, it, it definitely there's a point there. Like you had, yeah. uh, 